Elsa, Elsa, I thought you were about to talk I'm live right now, I'm doing a college thing, so. I'll be out in just a second. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. I got involved with Spark, and this is something I became immediately emotionally attached to. Um, when I first encountered this work of art was August 29th of last year, 2017. And um, we did so many different things with it and we ended up starting a league and um i became pretty well known in the game i came well known with everybody who had anything to do with this game um and we incorporated a family and a community all over the world and um i've ended up training over 450 athletes worldwide it's probably up to about 500 now i've recruited all of these athletes and um for some unknown reason, we have um, incorporated um, so many different talents and walks of life, from a voice impressionist in Australia to a, a UK programmer to a Canadian, um, you know, a Canadian re resident who, uh, you know, who who's in construction, and you know, who knows. It's all different walks of life uh, from being sponsored by CCP, which is the company that makes Spark. Uh, that's Spark, S-P-A-R-C with a C. Um, this game's been out a year. We just marked uh, one year that I've been doing this. Um, it is so powerful of a tool when it comes to, when it comes to, um, when it comes to just the, uh, overall community that we've incorporated to um just everything about it from helping people with mental ailments uh social anxiety um depression um there's been a few who suffered severe uh traumatic injuries that we've helped also it's uh started a path to creating um creating handicap controllers for uh paraplegics and anyone who is incapable of playing VR games or VR titles due to their, uh, uh, you know, due to their conditions or whatever they're facing, um, we we started this little program with a guy, you know, Skizix. This is a shout out to him if he uh, hops on in, <laughs> but I doubt that. Um, I just wanted to. Uh, you know, reiterate on everything that I've incorporated, everything that's happened to me in the past year starting this venture. 
Um, what you see here is uh, an experimental tank. And this is what they call the experimental tank. Um, this is where I started. And this is where uh, I've actually got a live tournament. Well, right now I have 20 teams going in two different series for there's three different game modes in this in this game um the reason why i love it is 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 it it incorporates all walks of life it brings everybody together and we uh treat each other like family like brothers and sisters and um we you know like i said we've been at it for about a whole year um from the newcomers to the to the ogs if you will of the game but uh it's really a simple game based on you know grabbing the ball and you just sling it however and you can score points you can um you score points you get one block with your shield um you can throw curves you can throw um, any kind of ricochet shot or anything. Um, we've just helped people. It's been a positive, positive influence. I've lost 50 pounds um, in this one year that I've been doing this. Um, I'm in better shape than I ever have been at 35 years old. And uh, big shout out to CCP for making this game and for supporting my group and for my league or mine and my wife's league. She helps me out tremendously um, with recruiting and everything. Um, and just the basis of, of why this game is so great is just the people that we've met along the way from from Australia, like I said, from UK, Australia, um, to, I mean, anywhere you imagine we have somebody who is sparked worldwide. I started out this venture under another name as, as Spark Players League, um, but you know without you know without saying anything further on that story we incorporated a whole lot of people me and my wife did a whole lot of background work and it just led to nothing so um me and my wife just decided, decided to start our own venture and um immediately started off with ccp and trying to incorporate their involvement and um to to bring to bring the light to the table pretty much and show everybody why this game is such a great 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 addition to any vr or anything it's uh one of the most physical games i've ever played it's uh it's it's you know it, it just incorporates everything from and you have to get off the couch to play it you can't play the sitting down it's not a sit down kind of game um if uh if I have anybody joining me in the tank here momentarily, I could show you. But without that, I'll just go hunt them down. I'm playing on an Oculus right now. I started on a PSVR. So, you know, most of the friends and stuff don't find me on PSVR. They find me here in the tank just by rage joining or just joining at free will pretty much. Um, as far as everything is concerned, this has been a great, great addition. Jack Chan! Hey, what's going on, buddy? Okay, I'm, I'm going to let you fellers in on a secret, okay? Please use your best behavior. And I don't have to worry about that from you, Jack Chan. But um, we, uh, I'm doing a college presentation on YouTube on the benefits of Spark and why I love Spark and why I did what I did, you know, and why I'm emotionally attached to the game. And I had to pick a work of art, so I decided to do a live broadcast on YouTube right now. Um, explaining, and what better to help me explain than, um, than you know, compadres of the league, <laughs> you know, the... Oh, Twiggy! Hello, kind sir. You are the one I wanted to talk to in the first place. That's what I needed help with. That's what I messaged you about. This guy right here. Okay, I'm going to tell my teacher right now, my instructor. This guy, Twiggy, has a broke foot. Broken foot on one leg, and he can't stop playing. <laughs> if that tells you anything of the testament. Both of these guys, Jack Chen, everybody here involved, is it's just been a great thing. We, we treat each other like family, we're like brothers. And basically, you just wanna get a higher score. The reason why I love the game is because it's number one in BR Magazine for fitness and competitiveness, or competition and fitness, however you want to word that. Um, 
Now Twiggy might might get the best of me here. <laughs> Who knows? Because I'm not a talker while I'm playing. So this will be interesting. <laughs> I'm going to provide the stream key for, it's due by midnight, and it is now like 10.30, my time. <laughs> I'm going to show you a little bit of why we love this game. Jack Chan, would you like to share anything about your experience with Spark Worldwide? Sure, I can say a little about it, I guess. Like you said, it's a family, and you know, the people I've met through Spark Worldwide are absolutely awesome. And, uh, you know, that game itself obviously is way cool. And, uh, like Twiggy, I am super addicted to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We call it sparkitis. It starts out as a fever and then a full blown disease, and you can't get away from it. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, What's going on there, Twiggy? I've been, um. <laughs> See, it's a common res. It's a common respect we have. <laughs> like I said, oh, you're fine. I'll take it easy. Hey, put your hand out like this. Shield up. Bring it down to your side. And you want to flip your wrist and let go of the trigger at your hip. So you throw a nice little tight little curve. If it doesn't coast along the floor, you held your button too long if it goes to the ceiling. There you go. Hey, 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 hey. He's probably one of the first ones that's thrown it that well. That's great. But yes. He's got a good throw for a newbie. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he does. Because he gets it that it's a laser ball, not a not a baseball. We actually had somebody that hurt themselves very badly. Um, very, very badly. <laughs> he tore the cartilage in between his rib cage throwing. So he was chunking them. Okay, you got side to sides. This is what we call side to side. You got just a quick slap. It looks like I'm hitting the ball. Nice throw. Like I said, I, I stink at talking and playing. <laughs> but we're going we're gonna to get through it. Do you know how to quick slap? Try to keep those hands up. Yeah, you want to act like you're boxing. I, if I'm in a competition or a tournament style, and um, you always keep a southpaw. I always keep my dukes up, man, like I'm fighting, because this is just like boxing. Sometimes you block it just by accident, just by having your arms up. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> now, they give you knuckle guards here, you see? And these knuckle guards are... Um, are great for uh, you know you just punch the ball you can counter it like this is the TV loud? yes you can't hear me no I was just wondering because it would make an echo that's what I call a tempo changer and all that is, is getting under the ball and pushing it up with your palm. That's it. And here's another useful one. Act like you're shaking my hand. And then you put your arm out to the side, but you want to put it right behind you, and you want to pop it up at the numbers. And roll your wrist forward a little bit. You see how it dropped? Y'all actually get to see me train somebody. That's awesome. And this is why I love the game. I always tell my athletes to, uh, I always tell them to take, take a minute, you know, take time, be humble, uh, teach everybody that's new, um, and never, you know what I mean, never like uh, exploit their skills that they've, that they've acquired while in game. Never exploit them against anybody who's new or any kids. Um, you know, we like all walks of life. We, uh, we, we, we try to teach everybody. Spark Worldwide, by the way, man. You ought to look us up on Facebook or Discord. I'll do that. Yeah, you're more than welcome. Everybody is. It's an open arms policy. Is it a league or 
something? It is, and I happen to own it with my wife. Me and my wife run it and own it. Cool. I'm looking to open a VR arcade where I live. Oh, that's awesome, man. Um, if, if you ever do get, get far enough into that endeavor, maybe we can talk about getting a live spark display put in there. Developers? No, but I uh, we are sponsored by CCP. Oh, okay. Officially sponsored by CCP, yeah. so yeah. Sure. Where are you so, guys out of? I'm I'm out of Southern Georgia. Pretty that's good. where I, that's where I be from. That's where I'm from. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is a great game. Uh, the physical activity, everything that every, the friendships, man, that I've made. Are, are incredible. Unfortunately, Mr. Chan had to put down the captain's position, but he's got real life stuff going on, and we we always, um, you know, we're always in favor of the real life stuff rather than the VR stuff first, just because it's real life stuff, you know. But the physics of this game. Everything about it is, is incredible. That's why I fell in love with this game. That's why I'm going to continue to play this game and represent this game to the fullest. Um, the emotional effect that it had on me, to answer this second part, it, uh, it involved a whole lot of lives. I've dealt from player, um, player death, life, marriage, divorce, kids, pets, uh, you name it, you know, if they have it going on, I've dealt with it and had to had to either substitute players or, um, you know, recruit time and time and again, people after people after people. And uh, I ended up with a second season of recruiting 210 players for only a, a, a player basis of 80. So it, it was a lot. Yeah, that's where the world, that's where the worldwide came in. I couldn't just search in the States. I ran out of people. So I had to, you know, go over to the European servers and talk to some folks. And um, me and my wife both, you know, tag teamed it and had to do all kinds of, oh, man, I, f I felt like a broken record after a while. You got a lot of players in Canada. That's a big, VR yes. big up there. Yes, yes. I have a ton, a ton of players. Hello, Jackie boy. I just thought I would share my experience with the game and make my audio presentation more visual by actually showing y'all the game and how it's played. Now granted I am on Oculus so forgive the slow throws. Thank you. Oh. You block the ball and return it. Pretty much. It's like a grown up game of Pong, but you're actually the paddle. <laughs> and there's three different game modes. Be basic, which is what we're playing with the knuckle guards. Nice throw. And um, just the player base is amazing. You know, I, I've met everybody here and personally played them in match. And I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't found found better people. Just really good friends. We decided to. A... Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're fine. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. No, I was just trying to figure out a way to like connect with you or friend you or something. Um, Ace Double O Seven GRD on PSN. Oh, what are you playing I'm on? on? I'm not on PlayStation. I'm you on Vive. 
You're on the vibe. Okay, so you're going to be on Steam, which is Dark Sensei 007. Dark Sensei 007. Yep. Capital D, capital S. And actually, this game is what led to me wanting to get into uh, into any kind of graphic arts, pretty much, as far as, you know, computer animation. And, um, you know, this is what started everything as far as my uh, career goals is being in gaming and creating artwork for, who knows, movies, you know, video games. I want to make my own Incredibles movie with superheroes. That would be phenomenal. That'd be great for my kids to go see my movie. <laughs> Who wouldn't like that, right? Are you new? Look, those side to sides. Look, those side to sides. Double stack your fist and back away from the wall. It last bounces off. When you can. And when you block the ball, backhand it. You see that? You see the reaction I got off of it? Okay, and I will just speak with my laser ball. <laughs> See, we... <clears throat> the reason why this game is so effective is because you can actually physically get to someone's emotions just like a street fight. Um, I actually got people who, who spent their entire t time every day training like Clinto uh, to beat me. And, uh, and now he's a monster. And he's very, very, very good at this game and blocking and his defense. And I just learned the physics of the, of the ball. Um, I've reached a lot of lives. A lot of people trust in me. They have a lot of faith in me to do what I say I'm going to do. And for the most part, I've followed through with everything I've told them I would do for that, for us and this family or this league. And that's why it's emotionally connected. And that's why I stay connected. So by hitting it with both of your fists, that makes a difference? Yeah, it counters the spin. You get, good game, good game. <clears throat> hey, Jack, you want to go to Experimental with me? Uh, sure, I can hop in there. Here, let cool. me. Oh, can, is there yeah, you want to go? Out? You want to go? Well, to Experimental? Oh, Experimental, I don't know. Sure. All right, cool. Come on. We're all good there right now. I, th I think I've answered all the questions, but I'm going to continue to broadcast just because um, 
And these are some of my close friends that I that I've Yo. grown to know. Yo. I actually started an experimental. A lot of people don't realize. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> this is how I test people's will and how serious they are about the game. And this is what inspired me to get into gaming in the first place. Say if you swing a shield, too late. I like this game mode because it's it's unpredictable. <sighs> very, very fun. I thought this would be the best way to give you my presentation on my work of art, which happens to be Spark, which was released late 2017 for VR. And it's uh, one of the only cross-platform titles that you can literally play Vive, Oculus, and, and um, PlayStation all at the same time. Like I said, who's the best? Yeah? What do you mean by mouth breather? <laughs> Is that like a knuckle dragger or no? I don't know. They're both pretty good. I'm just a noob. Nice throw. Mr. Chan. <sighs> Look at him go! Look at him go! But yes, this is why I love this sport. It's competitive. It's uh, exercise. It's 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 physically demanding.
And it's the entire reason I got into the program at Full Sail. Oh, you're going to school at Full Sail. That's cool. Yes, sir. A Bachelor of Science in Computer Animation. And this is what my presentation is for. Nice throw, Mr. Chang. I didn't like it too much, but nice throw. <laughs> Talk to uh, Ace about that. Ace, Ace. Nice. Well, he's running a, an international league. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's a man right going to give it to you, right? Uh, no, it's uh, Spark, Spark Nation or Spark, Spark Nation. Worldwide. Spark Worldwide, there we go. That's a man right there. You did, you did. Yeah. Oh, slow one almost got you. Oh, you gotta be quicker than that. Oh, thank you, Lord. And they wonder why I love this game. You wanna go for a round with him and experiment? Sure. But yeah, that's gonna conclude my broadcast. I think that I've uh, shown everybody exactly what inspired me to do the work that I do, what, why I love this game, you know what I mean, the people. Great game, Mr. Chan. When I, when I say the competition, I'm not kidding. Uh, yeah, we put up some numbers there, Mr. Chan. I only get 15%. You know that, when you don't use your shield, your deflection accuracy actually drops in percentage. It's crazy, but uh, I hope that this, uh, you know, I hope this was a very informative broadcast for everyone. I hope, uh, you know, uh, everybody got to see me train someone. The fluke, he was, he got a heck of an arm, by the way. Um, be looking for this guy in the future. You know, yep, yeah, sure, he could be a Spark Worldwide champion. You never know. Like Twiggy, where did Twiggy go? I don't know, right? Plus, I mean, who wouldn't love something that you have to be like, hey, where'd Twiggy go? You know? But uh, I hope I get some positive feedback on this, and I hope some of these guys that I'll go to school with will try this out and come and see us. Even the girls. Uh, my wife plays. My wife even incorporated Lady Ace, who happens to be a pretty, pretty formidable player, huh? <laughs> For sure. Yeah. She's got an armadillo peacock. The armadillo peacock is a, a duck down in a swoop of the shield. <laughs> and it uh, it works pretty well. Um, I've yeah. a lot of good female players lately, actually. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a ton of them out there. So this isn't, you know, a, a sex bias sport by any means whatsoever. Plus, you could get an avatar, and you know, I, I know dude avatars that I mean, dudes that have female avatars. It's kind of it's disturbing. Let's go ahead and put that out there. It's disturbing, but it's not, you know, you know, it's it's uh, we know about it, so we don't really uh, approach them like you know, females. <laughs> so that's that's the whole thing. Because if you say, hey, hey. You got a pretty good throw, and you're like, hey, yeah, thank you. You know what I mean? You just <laughs> but those are for the single dudes that play. <laughs> uh, I happen to be married, happily married. So um, I appreciate everybody joining me for this one, and uh, we will see you later. Uh, 
to the class of uh, January 2021. <laughs> Graduating computer animation. This is Ace, aka Matt Holt, signing off.